Melody Music, Live and TMZ, the rest of T.I. T.I., what happened to you today? I'm getting arrested. For what, T.I.? I found some guns in my house and somebody put me in there and arrested me on some charges. 19. Oh my god, you okay, T.I.? Yeah, I'm on the way to my court here and I just got apprehended. I just got apprehended because some bull crap charges. Today, October 13, 2007, federal authorities arrested T.I. for hours before the BET Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta. Um, he was charged with two felonies, possession of three unregistered machine guns and two silencers, and possession of firearms by continued felon. Now, I'll continue to Jacardi for further information. Thank you, Dallas. Now, me and Reginald here are going to interview a witness who was seen T.I. get arrested. It's sliding. Y'all have it together? Well, hello, young man. How are you? Now, tell us about the T.I. arrest. It was a SWAT team of men surrounding T.I. in the Walgreens parking lot downtown. I saw everything with my homies Pookie and Dewey. Hey, J.J., where my man? Black people. Back to you, Dallas. Thank you, Jakar, for that warm interview. <laughs> Show. My name is Brian Town. I am with T.I. right now. Follow me. Dallas, Dallas, what happened? I quit. Okay, I have an interview with T.I. I'm so excited. You know I can hear you, right? Hey, Tia, what's up, baby? I was kidding you. You ready? I'm going. <laughs> 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 Nope. So, T.I., 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 about that interview. So, why was you arrested? I may be sitting here restrained, but I ain't got to talk. I ain't got to talk. <laughs> really? Yeah. Talk! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is Dallas from Florida Live from uh, Can you at least untie me if you're going to interview me? Why did you do it? You better untie me. According to the police report, Mr. Harris, you were arrested on possession for firearms. Now, Mr. Harris, why did you have such weapons in your possession? All I got to say is they weren't mine. <laughs> you are lying! <laughs> Case number 59458-019, Zero one nine, the trial of Clifford Harris, represented by Mr. Carter. You may plead your case. Ah, uh, Evelyn, it's wonderful to see you again. Quite lovely and usual. I am charmed, Mr. Carter. But please, now on with the case. Okay, now, as you wish, Honor. According to the file, my client Clifford has been charged with two felonies. Possession of five firearms and possession of firearms by a convicted felon. Yes, John, I know of the charges. There is no reason to examine it. Now, Evelyn, you know not to cover my first name. Let's keep it professional. Mr. Carr, this is my courtroom. Do you really want to push these limitations and stretch this bar this far? For my client's defense, he was suddenly trying to defend himself. Don't forget the church you brought up the closest friend, Flint Johnson. True. However, Mr. Harris knew the risk. I I'd like to plead guilty of all charges. Order. 
I'm ready to render sentence. In the case of Mr. Carter, I sentence you to an undefined prison sentence, a year of house arrest, and 15 hours of community service. Case dismissed. How much time they give you? A year and a day. That's a long time. I know. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Valentino blouses, summer houses, cash, cash. You can get it, you deserve it. Flawless diamonds, Louis purses. My mission's to purchase her for her. Present the gift without the curse. Her pleasure is my purpose. Pleasure to be at your service. We front row with fashion shows as well as Sunday morning. I have worked extremely hard to get to where I am, and I believe that everyone deserves a better chance at life. So I pray to Turkey West Foundation give inner city kids a chance at fame and to bring out their inner golf. What was your motivation for such a foundation? My two children, Alexis and Charlie. Now, I'm here. Um, last question. What other foundations do you uphold and sponsor in turn? I also have a learning center. My main objective is to shine the light on, on the kids that I support and ensure that they have a safe and quality education. 